Well, chilly and just a little bit gray out there today. Connor here with you in the Q2 weather studios. Temperatures below 40 degrees. We had some pretty gusty winds this afternoon. Definitely feeling a little bit wintry, and we do sadly have a little bit more on the way as we take a look at those winds. Now kind of retreating a little bit to the northeast corner of the state, but it has been a northwest wind across much of the state. That's a cold wind. That's bringing us a little bit more cool weather for the day tomorrow as we take a look at to our northeast cut bank, Great Falls, Lewistown. Temperatures about 10 degrees colder than us going to bring us a little bit of a cool down as we head into the day tomorrow and that cool down is actually part of a larger scale system as we look at the whole country here very cold temperatures in Minneapolis Chicago even 35 degrees all the way down in st. Louis we're actually a warmer high temperature than them today as we're kind of on the warmer side of a cold border and we're gonna see that warm air push in later in the week now let's talk about tomorrow because we do have some snow heading our way overnight tonight things clear up mostly cloudy for much of our region and we can see See this next wave kind of starting to form up early on Sunday morning. It's going to push through the central portion of the state and bring a little bit of snow to much of the region. We're looking at afternoon snow for the most part here. This snow could accumulate. It's going to be cold out there. Road conditions could deteriorate, so be careful if you're traveling tomorrow afternoon. Could be a little bit slippery out there, but then this pushes away. It's left with relatively clear conditions afterwards over the course of the day on Monday. Things clear, clear up significantly, and that's actually going to be the pattern heading into this week, but we do have to deal with that snow and cold temperatures coming for Veterans Day.